Well, it finally happened. The cycle is complete. The second place Choke Elliott memes are officially dead. Chase Elliott's ch legacy of choking is officially over. And yes, all you Henrik Motorsports haters, including you Kyle Busch fanboys, I will be enjoying all of your salt tonight when I celebrate this win. Because for the first time this NASCAR season, I get to do a victory lab on all you punk bitches. Ha <laughs> ha ha! Take that, Kyle Busch. It's your turn to have the pit crew choke on you for a change. To be honest, though, I wish Kyle Busch didn't have that pit crew problem. I wanted to see what would happen if Kyle Busch and Chase Elliott were the ones battling for the win. But we will never know. Overall, this was actually a good race. It was actually good. Oh, that battle with Chase Elliott and Kyle Busch for most of that race was good. <laughs> really good battling. Great, clean, hard racing. Same deal between Chase Elliott and Martin Truex Jr. Too bad Truex ran out of gas at the end. He still finished second. That's still a good points day. But yeah, how about that? And it's also the first time in what God knows how long that we had a good race. Not won by Chase L. I mean, not won by Kyle Busch. Yeah. But yeah. Good race for a change. So I won't talk anything bad for a change. So you know what, PC fans? You don't want me to talk negative for a change? Guess what? For this week, for now, your wish has been granted. Enjoy. But caught Chase Elliott. Finally wins. Took 99 starts and 8 second place finishes. Two and a half years. But he finally did it. I just saw a crazy stat too. Um, Kyle Arson also won guy's first win in his 99th start. So yeah. Of course remember. Chase's dad Bill Elliott fell, 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 followed the same path. Because Bill Elliott had eight second place finishes to start his career before he got his first career win, which was ironically on a road course called Riverside in 1983. Of course, after that Bill Elliott's win at Riverside, we all knew what happened after. Bill Elliott would become Awesome Bill from Dawsonville. He would win the Winston Million, become a cup champion, throw one of the fastest laps in NASCAR history. Win 45 races, the rest, become a Hall of Famer, and the rest is history. Is this the same path for Chase Elliott, or will Chase take a new approach? But yeah, Henrik Motorsports' 250th win in their, friend, in their company's history, their first win in over a year. How about that? And it's Chase Elliott that gets it done. What a weekend. Xfinity race is actually pretty good. We even got to see some rain racing for a change. How about that? A rarity in NASCAR. Driving in the rain. Too bad fucking leeches had to win. Yeah, and after this race, as much as I hate Joey Logano, I'm actually going to defend Logano here. I don't know how Logano's car qualified for the damage policy at the start of the race. Like, he didn't even hit a thing. Like, all Logano did was lock his brakes up. And hit the sand pit, and bro which caused his oil cooler to break. Like, he didn't even hit a thing. How does that qualify as crash damage? It didn't bring out a caution. Like, what the hell? But then again, you know, it's just another example of NASCAR's inconsistency and bullshit. You know? You know, they just make it up as they go along. I've been saying that all year. They just make it up as they go along. Because I've never heard this shit before. But yeah, well, still a good race regardless, so yeah, a lot of great passing, a lot of great side-by-side -side racing, great battles for lead, great finish too, good hard racing, and sort of fuel mileage to an extent, because you know, Chase Elliott and Martin Truex trying to hold on with fuel, and of course Truex running out of gas, but hey, you know, I'll give props to Kyle Busch. To come back and finish third. It's sort of not surprising since Kyle Busch has the fastest car in the, in the field. But yeah. I was just I was just holding my breath at the end because I was like, 
Uh, is NASCAR going to throw caution and Chase is going to choke again? But hey, Chase Elliott finally gets it done. He finally wins the race. The Chevy Camaro finally wins the race legitimately, fair and square for a change. But uh, yeah. I think Kyle should have that feeling problem. I think Chase still could have got what got by him. I think Chase would have won the race still. It would have been probably an even good, better battle between Chase Elliott and Kyle Busch. But hey, we will never know what would happen. But anyway, how about that race? Good racing. Yeah, I'm also thinking about that Logano thing. I wonder if that Logano being taken out of race because of some bullshit. I wonder if that's karma for Logano thinking he's hot shit after winning an Xfinity race. Oh well. Um, trucks will be back next week in Michigan. Um, Xfinity goes to Mid Ohio next weekend. Next week, so no, Xfinity race will be good because of no leeches. Actually, the truck race will be good because Kyle Kane Leach won't be in that race. Thank fucking Christ. Because Kane Leach already used all five of his truck starts. So we won't really have to deal with Kyle Busch all season and truck for the rest of the year in the truck series. Of course, Cup Series sets to Michigan next week. No, I'm not going. Um, I'm going to be working, so, yeah, I'm not going to be able to go. But that's it. How about that? Chase Elliott wins. I'm going to go celebrate this win tonight. The Chevy Camaro finally gets a win after running like dog shit all season. There, it looks like they're starting to finally figure that Camaro out. Maybe now Kyle Larson will win. Maybe now Jimmy Johnson will win. Maybe Alex Bowman will win. We will have to wait and see how this will go. But yeah, Chase Elliott finally wins. The big three doesn't succeed today, so we get to talk about somebody else for a change. But yeah, that's all I gotta say. And Jimmy Johnson's still in the chase by over 100 points right now, so I'm proud of that. With how Jimmy Johnson's been running like dog shit all season, you know, if he can get a win this year, I'd be happy. It would sort of cap off this shitty season. But yeah, we'll have to see what happens. You know, we got we got four races left out of chase. You know, we got Michigan, then Bristol, then Darlington, and then Indy. Bristol's probably going to be the better, best race of the three of the four along with Darlington. But yeah, that's all I got to say. Hope everyone's a great day. And yeah, peace out. Go Chase Elliott and fuck all you Kyle Busch fans.